An ice cream man is recovering tonight after being robbed and beaten unconscious by several people in Green Valley Ranch. Today, the Denver mayor reached out to the undocumented man to assure him his case won't fall on deaf ears. Denver 7's Addy Guajardo has his story and a warning. Some of these images are graphic. Each ring signals a cold summer treat is near. For some, Antonio Ramirez Chavez is known as the ice cream man. For those in the Hispanic community, it's the paleta man. Antonio moved to the U.S. 21 years ago. The last 10 years, these paletas pay the bills. It's why day in and day out, at 64 years old, he works long hours under the sun. But last Thursday, the man who brings joy was assaulted and robbed as he packed up for the day at a nearby school parking lot. Three to four suspects beat him. I stumbled to the floor and then three other individuals came and started kicking my face, kicking my throat, kicking my neck and just assaulting me. The criminals made off with $65. Antonio is undocumented and cares for his disabled wife and nine-year-old daughter. It's why he was hesitant to file a police report. The way that things are right now, I wasn't sure how they treat community members based on their legal status. Mayor Michael Hancock called Antonio Hola. after learning of his assault. And, uh, we're gonna do everything we can to find the people who uh, attacked you the other day. His office uh, is reminding people legal status doesn't play a role when reporting a crime. In the city of Denver, we don't uh, enforce immigration laws. Our officers do not not enforce immigration laws and so when someone comes to us to report a crime we are gonna seek justice. We took a stroll with Antonio as he pushed the paleta cart. He says his injuries are still too fresh to get back to work. His recovery is far from over. He needs surgery from the beating but through the pain he's grateful he has a voice. Addy Guajardo, Denver 7. Those suspects are still on the run. Anyone with information is asked to contact Crime Stoppers. The mayor's office gifted Antonio a basket of food and helped connect him with local services. And we're also told the officer who took Antonio's report gifted him $70 from their own pocket. Mm.